they disqualified me at the end of orientation because my blood sugar was almost 400 and my A1C was beyond um, what they allowed, which is 10. This lady trucker A1C was off the charts. Let's get into what she has to say what happened since she got disqualified from a flatbed company. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Oh, let me tell you, when I went to um, a flatbed trucking company about two months ago, they disqualified me at the end of orientation because my blood sugar was almost 400 and my A1C was beyond um, what they allowed, which is 10. Mine was 10.7. Well, as you all can see, if you all follow me on TikTok or um, Facebook, I've been working out. You no know, praying more, of course, eating less. And today I got my A1C check. My A1C went from 10.7 to 8.6. So I am good to go, even though I still kept trucking anyway. I just found another truck job. But I'm now at 8.6, so I can redo my dot physical and have it for another year. And I'm good to go. Going back to trucking. I'll never stop trucking anyway, but I'll never stop working in the hospital either. So we'll see what comes of that. So I'm headed to Florida in the morning. I'm here at work right now. And I'm about to do 12 hours and then hit the road for Florida for 10 hours. All right. All right. So let's talk about it right quick. Let's talk about your health in trucking, man. Shout out to this young lady, Lady Trucker. You can definitely follow her on TikTok. Been following her for a while. She had uh, some ups and downs in trucking, like a lot of ups and a lot of downs. Uh, she just recently got back into the field of hospitality, the hospital, which I, I honestly think, and you know, you don't have to take my opinion if you don't want to, but I honestly think that you might just want to leave trucking alone and just stay with the hospital field. Okay. Look, your health is important drivers. You know, she said her blood sugar was up at 400 that's touching danger level right there that's stroke level right there I, i'm i'm surprised that you you didn't catch a stroke while you was out driving that's woo, that's crazy and your a1c 10 over 10 uh i do believe that in order to have your at least a one year card you your your a1c can't be over eight if i'm not mistaken i might be mistaken y'all can go and check that out but i do believe if it's over eight then you might not be able to uh get a one year card you won't be able to drive that's danger levels right there. That's that stroke levels right there. That's kidney failure levels right there. What you got to start doing, you got to leave the sodas alone. You got to leave the sugars alone. Now I know it's kind of hard to leave all sugars alone, but definitely the candy and the sodas yeah you need to leave those alone you need to get back with the water get some crystal light uh uh, so, uh not soda water or nothing like that but um what you call it uh seltzer water if you want that fizz if you want that fizz get some uh sparkling water yeah sparkling water you don't you, you don't have to worry about the sweeteners and stuff like that you gotta cut back you gotta cut back because if you didn't go to that flatbed company lady trucker and they did the dot physical on you you wouldn't have never known that your levels was up that high could have been you you could have been out on the road driving and pass out behind the wheel 
And next thing you know, you're going to end up being in the hospital. I know too many drivers that has neglected their health in chasing of the bag. And it's not that important. What's good? What is good of you to chase the bag and have all that money if you're going to mess up your health to go get it? Now you got it. Now you don't have your health. You're going to be in the hospital. You're going to be on dialysis. You're going to lose. You're going to have kidney failure. And next thing you know, you're going to your your feet is going to be messed up. Your feet going to be swollen and everything, man. I I am I am constantly constantly checking my blood sugar now i know the blood sugar don't get me wrong i know some of you guys gonna come in the comments and be like yeah lockout you don't know you know your blood sugar is you know it goes up and down throughout the day yes i do know that because i monitor my blood sugar in the morning it's low and in the evening it is high and and i don't even eat all like that while i'm out on the road probably eat in the morning and then I probably might not come back to eat until later on in the evening. It'll be like maybe about 150 in the morning and probably touching 200 in the evening. That's crazy. That's crazy. But you got to monitor your, your levels, man, especially your A1C because your A1C is, it, it gains for every three months. Now, luckily for her, Whatever she did, i.e. working out, i.e. drinking less, i.e. Uh, drinking water, i.e. eating less, she was able to bring her A1C down from, from 10 to 8. And I'm, I'm going to assume that the doctors prescribed to her that good medicine. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all type two, y'all type twos know what I'm talking about. That kind, the, the kind of medicine that works with your, works with your stomach. Yeah, yeah, that, that kind of medicine. I know, I, I know what y'all feel. Y'all know what y'all thinking. Y'all going to be like, yeah, that, 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 uh, that, that good type, type two medicine. Yeah, yeah. So I'm sure they prescribed her some of that. All right. So listen take better care of yourselves if you like me and you like chasing the bag but you like to have your health in order to spend that bag take time to make sure that your health is on point all right shout out to lady trucker guys let's get the conversation started get your questions and comments in the comments below. Big G's got it locked. Boy. Won't you let me all know?